Hello, and welcome to Certified Pure Essential Oils with Becky. I'm Becky. Today, we are going to talk about why would we want to use essential oils? My life is great. Do I really need essential oils? What can they do for me? What kind of lifestyle would I be leading if I used essential oils? Okay, well, here's a picture of my one of my favorite kinds of flowers. These are Alstroemerias. And no, you do not get essential oils from Alstroemerias. They're just simply beautiful and I love them. They're vibrant and exciting. Okay, before we get started, I want to point out a very important fact. It goes for the entire presentation. First of all, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. The second thing I'd like to point out is that I am a doTERRA wellness advocate. So why essential oils? First of all, we live in a day and age where we have a modern approach that is designed to manage symptoms. A lot of the medications and tools that we use given to us by our doctors or over the counter are isolated synthetic agents that actually have a foundation in plants. When a plant is found to have a beneficial property, the scientists try to isolate it in their labs and turn it into some sort of tool that you can use. It could be a pill, it could be a liquid medication, it could be a rub, it could be almost anything. So then they can reproduce it in a lab. Unfortunately, because those beneficial properties are isolated, there are side effects. When the plant was originally out there in the wild, it was loaded with many different constituents that worked in harmony. But when you separate them, that one ice, that one uh, agent by itself, it doesn't have the others to balance it out. Now, the medical industry is a $6.5 trillion a year industry. But are we any healthier? First of all, let's look at this triangle here. I want you to remember this triangle, okay? Notice that the foundation is very small the root cause. The symptoms are the main focus of this triangle. Okay, let's call this triangle intervention. An intervention triangle is where man produces a, a synthetic um, agent, um, addresses the symptoms, and the needs remain. So whatever your problem is, like let's say you have some sore parts in your body, you are going to get something that will address the soreness. But is it actually solving the problem? No, you'll probably be taking whatever that is and for a very long time. Okay, next let's talk about the natural approach. This is the kind of lifestyle that I personally like to lead and I'm finding that more and more people are wanting to follow it too. The natural approach addresses the body's needs and root causes. Notice that the foundation of root cause is huge. That is our main focus. So we go and find out what is going on, and then we work from there to figure out what we can do to solve it. And as we are solving it, the symptoms gradually are calmed. Now most of the things that people use when they are solving their situations is something called essential oils, which comes from plants. Essential oils can enhance physical and emotional health. They are safe without side effects as long as they are used sparingly. I'm talking about one to three drops at a time. Let's look at this triangle again. Nature produces the plants. You find out what your root cause is and you get the right essential oil to address the root cause. Then it meets your body's needs. Your body, you like apply it as we will discuss later 
and our body knows exactly how to use it to fix its own problems. It's basically like um, a tool that our body uses. Essential oils are effective. They are natural, aromatic compounds extracted and distilled from plants for health benefits. So let's take a look at this peppermint. We've all seen a green peppermint leaf at one point in our life, if not in a picture like this, than actually in our hands. If you were to take a microscope, you would see something like this. Right here is a yellow sack. Inside the sack are the essential oils. So if I were to twist that sack, or twist the leaves, I would be able to smell peppermint. And that is the essential oil. Now inside this little sack of peppermint essential oil, there are hundreds of different compounds ready to provide a complex and versatile um, benefits for you. The really cool thing is, is that the plant actually uses the essential oils to attract bugs that will help the plant to avoid disease and things like that. So the plant is using it as a tool. Another really cool thing is, is that our cells have a membrane. The membrane has the word brain in it, even though it's not spelled the same way as brain, but I like to consider it the cell's brain because it determines what can go in the cell and what has to stay out. The cool thing about essential oils is that our cells recognize it as something that is beneficial and allows it to come in. And then the cell uses the essential oils in whatever way it works the best. Essential oils can also work on things that are sitting on the outside of the essential oils. Our body can use it to remove whatever it is. The other thing that's really cool is that essential oils are affordable. They're just a pennies per drop. Now, I know a lot of people, when I've taught about essential oils, have said, oh, I've never used essential oils. <laughs> well, uh, that's probably very far from the truth, unless you've never used uh, laundry detergent, lotion, um, soap, or anything like that that you can buy commercially. They, the majority of those products use synthetic essential oils. So in other words, they're being created in a lab. They do not come from plants. Then there is food grade essential oil. If you've ever had gum, salad dressing, or something like that, you have had food grade essential oil. Then there's therapeutic grade. A lot of the therapeutic grade bottles that I've looked at at the store say do not take internally, do not apply to the skin, so you could even use it for massage. And they just basically tell you to use it aromatically. Now my favorite grade of essential oil is Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, or CPTG for short. What does CPTG mean? Why is this my favorite type of essential oil? Well, first of all, it's the most tested and most trusted. Plants harvested in, are harvested in therapeutic, or I'm sorry, they are harvested in their natural habitat. And like for certain plants, it actually matters what time of day they're harvested, what time of the year they're harvested, how many harvests per year are done. With some plants, if you harvest it at the wrong time of day, you're not going to get the chemical, chemical constituents that are known to be beneficial. If you harvest too many times and force additional harvests to make extra money, you're actually going to end up with a lower grade product. So with CPTG, the goal is to have all the chemical constituents known to be found in those plants. By picking them at the right time of day and to only use the normal natural harvest cycle. They are verified pure, free of fillers and harmful contaminants. All the people involved in the CPTG process have promised that they will not use fillers, they will not contaminate the oil, they will not use chemicals like herbicides or pesticides on the plants while they're growing. Then you have the third party companies step in. So uh, there's the plant, the grower, 
and there's doTERRA. There's another company that will not benefit at all from the outcome of these tests. All they do is they get paid to do the test and give the results. This testing ensures authenticity and potency. There are at least three different ways that you can use essential oils. One of my favorite ways is aromatically. You can do it with a diffuser, but my favorite way, here, let me switch the video feed. I'll show you my favorite way, is to get this oil, this is lemon. I could do this with many different kinds of oils, but I ch I'm choosing lemon today. I'm gonna add a drop or two to my hand, rub my hands together, and inhale it. If I'm feeling a little bit tired and I have a lot to do and I need to be alert and stay awake, I might use peppermint instead. But one of the things I really like about the citrus oils is that it's uplifting and it's kind of like adding sunshine. And if you have like say a grandma who made something with lemon or had a lemon scent around her house, it can evoke amazing feelings. Another way to use essential oils is topically. When I use it topically, I can have focused support for a body part. So let's say that I walked a ton, up and down a ton of stairs today or an incline because I was traveling somewhere and hiking, I might end up with sore knees. So I could use deep blue which is known to calm and comfort my muscles and bones. It's also great, or deep blue is also great for when I sleep in a strange position and end up with sore muscles in the morning. Another way to use essential oils is internally. I will show you how I like to do that. Okay, so first of all, get yourself a glass or a stainless steel essential or stainless steel water bottle. The reason why is because some essential oils can break down plastic and some plastics are very thin and easy to break down. And if you're breaking down that plastic, would you want to drink it? I certainly wouldn't. So my water bottle is about halfway full. I will add a couple drops of essential oil to it. Now my favorite way to do this is to put the essential oil in before I add the water. That way the essential oil is evenly distributed throughout the bottle of water. But in this situation where the water was in there first, I just shake the water bottle. Some essential oils are known to float on top, some in the middle, and some at the bottom, depending on the way they are made. Okay, so this one here is doTERRA on guard. Uh, let's get my pointer back up. Okay, doTERRA on guard. This one is a great immune booster. And it's also great for diffusing in the air to cleanse out any yuckies that might come when you have visitors during the holidays or whatever. Okay, let's get on to why I really wanted to talk to you about essential oils. This is a cabinet. This is what my cabinet would look like if I took you into the bathroom. But I'm not gonna take you there. I'll just use this pretty picture instead. So remember those triangles at the beginning? Let's use them here. Here is the triangle where the base is at the bottom. We are focused mostly on the bottom. This is where our foundation for great health is. Remember, I called it intention. This is where I set my intention towards a good and healthy lifestyle. And then at the top are the essential oils. This is the way I live my lifestyle. I focus on the intention part and use essential oils when things come up. Some people, on the other hand, they like to use essential oils in a different way. They like to use essential oils only when something comes up. They spend less time focused on the foundation of their health. 
which is to make sure that their body is receiving the proper nutrients it needs um, using as few chemicals as possible, like when brushing your teeth, making sure that your digestion is good. Okay, so those are two different ways. Which kind of lifestyle do you want to lead? Do you want to have an intention-based lifestyle or an intervention-based lifestyle? I'll let you decide. But let's, I'm going to focus on the lifestyle I'm choosing to lead, which is an intention-based lifestyle. Let's focus on the, the lifelong vitality first. Now, I could do an entire presentation on the lifelong vitality pack. Today, I'm not doing that. I'll just give you a brief summary about the Lifelong Vitality Pack. The thing I notice most about using the Lifelong Vitality Pack is that I feel more energetic and alert and focused. And I also feel like I'm able to manage my stress and be able to handle the little things that come my way. It's also great for maintaining excellent nervous system function antioxidant and DNA protection, and end up with um, less discomfort. Let's look at the rest of this bottom shelf. So for the rest of the bottom shelf, we have the digest digestant terazyme, and this provides enzymes, and it's really good for people who are over the age of 30 because our bodies create fewer enzymes to break down the food, so we actually get less benefits from our food. And it also makes it so stuff gets clogged up in there. We don't want that to happen. So that's why we use terazymes, so that we are not clogged up. And then there is PB Assist. PB Assist is a um, double-coated probiotic, and the really cool thing about this is yes, I could do another presentation on it, but it makes it so that it will survive the stomach and go directly where we need it in the intestines. When we eat yogurt and other things, and most other probiotics, most of the benefits are destroyed in the stomach and never make it to the intestines. And once again, we have On Guard. You could add two or three drops in your water or a couple drops on your feet to it for immune support. And then there's frankincense. It's great for under the tongue or along the spine, and it helps with cellular, cellular support and brain function. And then if you happen to have a little bit of stress in your life, as most people do, balance is really good for helping our bodies to remain a little bit more even keeled. And it also helps us when we feel feelings of anxiousness. So I would like to thank you for coming, and I would like to know in the comments below, which lifestyle do you want to live? Do you intend to live an intentional lifestyle or an intervention-based lifestyle? It's up to you. Also, I would love it if you shared this video with your friends and your family, because I would like to see everybody have as healthy of a lifestyle as possible. Thank you so much for coming. I look forward to seeing you again. In the future, we will have videos about individual essential oils and products. That way you can get to know them a little bit better. Again, thank you. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.